Kaka here and welcome back to Kahoy Diary. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video. And second, I hope that you guys are safe at home right now. So in this video, I'm going to do the part 2 of my video that I posted last week. So I did a what's on my iPhone video, but then I wasn't able to tackle the photo and video editing apps that I use since I felt like it's going to be another long video. So I guess this is that long video. I hope naman na hindi siya super long. But then I'm really excited to share with you guys the photo and video editing that I use since I don't know. There's just quite a lot of you guys that are asking me to share that. So here it goes. So before anything else, I just want to do a shout out to Krisha Minami and Marjorie Slagle. I was able to talk to them on Instagram and they shared the shout out to sila. So this is it. I as promised. So before we start, I hope that you guys are subscribed. If you want to be part of the hashtag community, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. Ah, hi. So for my photo and video editing apps that I use, dun 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 dun. Shoo. Tama energy ang inyat pate. Anyways, so my editing apps are divided into four categories ish so for the first one is mostly layout designs so for the second part is going to be videos and effects so the third part is going to be mala layout and frames and then lastly is just random ek -ek. <laughs> random things first one an um this is what I used to um, plan out my feed actually. So you just have to connect your account, your Instagram account, and it connects here all the photos that, that you've posted already. And the top part of the feed, you get to actually plan how your feed would look like. So, so you just add photos, like for example, here, um, I'll tap it, import, and maybe um, this photo. And then there. So I can just um, basically swap the photo or like switch and then plan out whichever looks better in the overall feed. So yeah, may sneak peek na kayo ng mga possible na photos na ibo post ko ha. Quiet lang kayo. Secret natin yun. <laughs> yung mga nakanood lang dito yung makakalab. Anyways. So there, so this is what I basically use in planning out my feed. I'm sure that most of you guys already know this, but it is really important, especially if you want that cohesive look. So next one is Visco. So before everything, Visco is like the OG editing app that people use, which I also use. But the, since they have like lots of filters that you can use, so what I do with Visco is that I just um, crop or resize my photos. Like for example, this is my latest post on my Instagram. So this is the original size of the photo, 2x3 ratio. But then the best size for Instagram would be 4x5 since it actually fills up the whole screen for your phone. So another tip is to always post on your Instagram using the 4x5 frame and then probably don't go for landscape photos so since it doesn't maximize your photos on the full screen but then at the end of the day it's still your choice it's raining i thought it's raining anyway so third app oh my god this is a blessing this app is probably the only app that you want to use and that's okay since in this app me too uh, this is like the best photo and editing like the easiest app that you can use for photo and video editing. When I add in the photo, first one is you can crop the photo, enhance the photo like the brightness, contrast, like the basic photo editing app. But then, and I also really love their filters. So what I usually use is the MN2 and MN6. But then I don't usually put the filter is not too strong since it's really bright. Their filter really gives off like this fresh look. The next one is frames. So basically, Me Too got you like all kinds of frames that you can use. So, and it's artsy. Like for example, I tap this photo. <laughs> oh, oh, back, diba? Hey, diba? 
um, what more? So you can tap in more. So there's lots of sections, simple fantasy section. So they all have this super nice filter, uh, super nice frames that you can use. So like this one, so like if you want a desktop type of layout. Um, what more? If you want, actually, there's just a lot. But then the thing is, you can edit like the text in the layout but then it's fine maybe if you know photoshop you can tweak it there but then at the end of the day i really like the layout itself already there's just so many to choose from you just have to download it and the thing is this is a free app like you don't have to pay for anything like there's no um specific layouts that have payment everything is free guys probably my favorite part on the photo part of me too is the magic brush so we just go to more. So the past few posts of mine on my Instagram is this is actually where I edit them. My favorite one is this crayon. So you get to choose the color like purple. And then you doodle away. Ah, the bar. So if you want to add stars, um, uh, increase the size, add more stars. Ayon. So this is my favorite part. I won't go into detail about it na since this is gonna be a long video. So um, if you want me to do um, on how I edit my Instagram stories or how I edit in my Instagram photos, I can go in depth. Just comment down below or like this video so that I'll know. On my Instagram stories, if you can actually see those videos na very quick snapshots, b-rolls. I use um, video, the video editing of me to there. So move on to the next app. This would be PixArt. Basically in PixArt, that would be the aesthetic part of your photo. What I usually see in people's edits would be the stickers. I'm a fan of the stickers like um, old computer. Uh, so they have lots of stickers that you can use. Um, Download, do you love me? Oh, pa. Then add in the photo. So there's just so many things that you can play with here. It's kind of the same with me too, but I feel like more stickers. Yeah. But then I feel like there's a few limitations to this one since they have a pro version, but you have to pay for it. So I suggest using me too for now, unless you want to pay for the app itself. So next one is Nichi. So in Nichi, um, they basically have like a template for you already, but then you can also like tweak your own. So, so next one is Jane. Jane is basically the same with me too that has like um, templates that you can already use and it's really cute. Like for example here, um, again, there's just so many templates that you can use. And then next one is story edit. Same again with the um, layout that they've given you. So under featured here, they have lots of layouts like classic view all. I'm not sure if there are ones that are not free, but so far the ones I've tried that are free already looks nice. You can edit PNG in over. So basically no background. So, for example, I type in text. If you want this specific font or like maybe a photo, and then here when you export it, it's already in PNG. So, which means that there's no background on the photo. For example, you have this. Um, so, this hello, this PNG, you can paste on this photo on your Instagram. So, it's basically exporting a PNG file over over the bath over over <laughs> now let's move on on the video part of editing so because if you don't know yet this is I think this went viral over Instagram stories before so it's basically just importing all the videos that you have and there's already a specific template on how your edit will go like probably the music that you'll use 
the transitions, the flow. Uh, there. So it basically edits your video that fast. So you already have a template. You just have to import the video or shoot the video itself. And then it gives you that video already. So that is because. So before I usually use this often. But then I find the length limiting since um, there's just an allotted number of seconds per video. So sometimes my video na it's shorter that I want or like mas mahaba or something. So major limiting lang for me. So I prefer editing it through me too. At the same time, I get to um, adjust the flow or transition and whatsoever. So mas may hawak lang ako in terms of editing. So next one is InShot Velo Video Leap. So again, it's quite the same with the ed video editing part of Me Too, wherein you can use stickers, text, you can edit videos and all that. And very aesthetic yung vibe niya, you can import music. Medyo the same, I guess the thing that differs here is that maybe the available stickers that you can use. Okay, so next one is Thai Blue. I just recently found out about this when I saw it. I think through YouTube. If you've seen my Instagram story, ching! Um, this is where I edit it. So for example, um, on my new post, so, uh, I actually usually just use this on my new post. So you can adjust the text size, you can adjust the color, um, and you can also adjust the transition. Transition mental. The motion of that text. So what I usually use is M9 ba? Yeah, M9. Like, one text shows and then more text shows. I'll adjust the speed, the amount, the tracking. Oh, and then more effects like glitch or like, um, yeah, now slide in, slide out. There's just so many and I love the effects. Very aesthetic if you want. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then you can also change the background or on my, in my case, so this is where I share my new post. So like for example, in this photo, new post, yan. Oh, di ba pa? And then just maybe change the color and then it shows new post. Chanan, and then you post this on your stories to announce that you have a new post. And then maybe direct them to your feed or something, something like that. So this is just a fun way in sharing your new post to your um, followers there. So this is really a nice app and then again it's free and I don't think there's other effects that you have to pay for so so far it's good. And then Vochi, I just recently downloaded this a few days ago. So I just um, add in this photo and then I pick an object like for example I hold, I hold this part of my photo and then I just hold the effect line and then so in that part of that photo um my glitch effect na siya, and then maybe I want this glitch effect and then I'll hold in this ribbon and then actually there are some that you have to be pay for but then the fee are already nice so no problem with that okay so if you play, it shows that effect. See how nice it is? It's like art lang. Pero it's really nice, diba? So that's basically what this app does. So it just adds effects on photos. I'm not sure if it can add videos. Let me try. Yeah, it can import videos too. Anyway, so Snow is... I'm, I'm sure you already know this and actually deleted this before already since I have been overwhelmed with the number of filters that this offers. But then, um, let me show it to you guys. Oh wow. Wow! <laughs> Namula si Sid. Okay, so let's go to filter. There's just lots and lots of filters for this app that you can use. So this is Snow. Mojo is basically posting a photo but then it's kind of like a slideshow. So here, here for example, under minimal. So you just import your photo and then make a slideshow on how it reveals. 
Um, I haven't actually used this yet since like personal opinion lang when I post if ever na I post this on my Instagram stories parang pag play niya parang white lang siya the tendency is I'll just skip so you, you won't um, a lot of time or like take the time to just view it pa na mabagal na bababa magbifit and all that yun know? so uh, if ever na photo I just want it straight to the point I guess yeah, but then if ever you want to post a photo creatively, you can try using this app. Third one, layout, plain layout. So everything actually kind of the same, but then the difference would probably be like the sizing, the frames, the type of frames that they offer. So Unfold is I guess the most famous one. You can choose like various templates. So this is these are usually like plain templates. Um, most of it have payment, but then your basic ones carry naman na. But then, ah, chalot lang. Plain lang pala to. So if you just want to do a plain collage, you can use this one. Unfold, made, or story loss. But then I felt like, if I remember com correctly, for made and story locks, there are frames na... You know that frames na para mala Polaroid o kaya film yung print, mga ganun yung design. So, Moldiv is the same na collage na kunari. But then, I think, ano to? Tingnan ko, di ko pa ka nagubuksan kasi sa old phone ko siya ginamit before. But then, I just used this one for plain collage. Pero in square form naman to. And then, film frames, same na parang mid or story locks na maraming film layout designs and then RNI films is um, for fil film purposes naman so for this one filters lang actually but then it's really nice parang medyo film-ish kasi yung dating niya next one is not on the layout part already but then I just added it here so um, Facetune, Facetune is basically Photoshop wherein you can tweak. Like for example, you want to edit a part of your face that you feel that is chubby or like you want to clean out um, a photo, whiten your teeth, um, you can do that. Here you can also actually, if I remember correctly, you can extend your legs here. Na parang medyo adjust mo yung um, photo so that your legs looks longer. Something like that. So that's what I usually use here. I don't go like too wild since ayo naman yung sobrang halata. Like very minor lang. Hindi naman yung very. Sino to? <laughs> Parang ganun. Quick shot. I love this app. Din naman. But then, minsan ko lang din siya nagagamit. So, um, quick shot is basically adding skies to your background. Like for example, you didn't like the skies on your photo. Okay, so let's use this photo as an example. So this one was taken when we went to Palawan. So in this photo, I just used my phone in taking the shot. So medyo overexposed siya and it's really hard to edit since JPEG siya. So if raw kasi siya, mas matitweak ko yung brightness and all. So, um... I tried changing the sky here. So, under sky. Oh, pa! Sunset na, diba? Okay, so, um, there's quite a lot of options naman. Like, for example, this one, diba? Parang, it looks like a legit sky na ganun talaga yung itsura. And then, you can adjust the feather na lang to make it look like it's real. Yan. So, I just usually use this. I've tried it. Yeah, I've tried this once before. Na parang sobrang overexposed nung um, background. So, I use this one. Okay, so what more? Any sticker. Any sticker is medyo pang pa artsy lang. Like when you post a photo and you want to tag. Alam niyo yung parang um, GIF or tags on Instagram. So, it resembles that. Uh, for example, you type in coffee. Um, type in iced coffee. There, and then you can also change the icon there, and then return, create sticker, and then you can copy this and then add it on your Instagram stories. So, yun lang. Design lang siya. I haven't actually tried using this, but I saved it for future purposes lang. Since 
I find it really nice. Not bad siya. And then lastly, um, for GoPro, this is what I use in connecting our GoPro. And then Instax Share where I print my Instax films. And then Pinterest. Pinterest, I'm sure you all know it by now. Um, this is where I get my aesthetic wallpapers or like PNG photos or whatsoever. Look for inspiration. There's just so many things na nangyayari sa Pinterest. Last two, um, Adobe Lightroom. So I actually use this to edit my Instagram photos but then in desktop. Since here's a um, Adobe Lightroom sa phone, you can actually import raw, raw photos, JPEGs lang. So I prefer shooting in raw. Ang good thing with Lightroom is that you can tweak specific colors of that photo. Like for example, in this photo, I remember changing the color of the green because when I took it through my phone, took a photo through my phone, the green is kind of like lighter compared to the actual color of that green. So I took it here para at least medyo true, true yung color pa rin niya. And the good thing with Adobe Lightroom is you can also import presets that people sell or like you can get them free online. And then lastly is Adobe Sketch. So, ayan. So these are the examples. Like for example, in this photo that I posted for my New Year post, so this is where you can actually use um, artsy brushes. So for example, this one. Ayan. So maganda effect ng brush niya. So you can doodle away. Ay, but I see. So you can doodle away and then click mo siya and then you can increase or lower the size, change the color. And that's it. Sobrang init na. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope that you can give this video a big like if you liked it. Um, comment down below on whatever apps that you find, found useful in what I've shared. And if ever that you have a secret, not so secret app that you want to share with everyone, please do comment that, that down below. And what more? Comment down yun na rin kung ano yung mga video suggestions that you want me to do. I would love that. Since, as promised, I want to be consistent in posting as much as possible. Yun! So, what more? Nagchikahan na lang pala, you know? So, subscribe din kayo if you like this video. Please, um, I'm nearing 1,000 subscribers. So, it would be a big, big help if you subscribe. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm ending this video because I feel like it's super long na. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Till next time. Bye!